Have you ever watched a movie and instantly cringed at some of the scenes? If so, there's a pretty good chance that movie was one of the 10 films on our list. These films all cast child stars who were way too young and innocent to play their roles, and moviegoers and critics were absolutely outraged. Just wait until you see which film was banned by American theaters because of the inappropriate storyline involving a teenage actress. You don't want to miss it. If this is your first time visiting our channel, don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a big thumbs up. Today, we'll be showing you 10 child stars who were too young for their roles. Natalie Portman Before Natalie Portman pirouetted her way into our hearts as the ballerina in Black Swan, she was a child actress who was cast as the character Mathilda in the 1994 film Leon the Professional. In the film, her family is murdered, and she sparks a friendship with a man named Leon who is a professional assassin. He takes her in under his wings and trains her to become a ruthless assassin just like him. While Natalie was applauded for tackling an adult role at the age of 12, the movie was met with a bunch of backlash as well. Not only were people outraged that a young girl was being trained to kill in the film, but they were also grossed out by Natalie's character's creepy relationship with Leon. He was much older than her, and the film left hints that their relationship was more than what it seemed. In the US version, some scenes of the film were edited out, and those scenes reportedly confirmed their inappropriate relationship. Not only that, Natalie was also shown smoking cigarettes in many scenes of the film. The actress later revealed that her parents were initially against her starring in the movie. They thought the subject matter was inappropriate for a child, and they even told her that appearing in the movie would ruin her life. Most kids would have listened to their parents' advice, but not Natalie. She begged her parents to allow her to appear in the movie, and they finally gave in. Linda Blair Back in 1973, which was probably way before you were born, a movie called The Exorcist scared the living you-know-what out of the entire world. The film was about a teenage girl, Reagan McNeil, who was possessed by a mysterious entity. With some help from her priests, they tried to expel the vicious forces from her body. However, in order to free her from the terror, moviegoers had to sit through various scenes of the young actress's head spinning around in circles and some pretty harsh language to go right along with it. The role of the possessed girl was played by actress Linda Blair, who was just 13 years old at the time. The movie was the source of nightmares for adults and children who watched it when it first debuted, so we can only imagine how Linda must have felt on the set living through it all. Sure, the movie can't compare to the special effects and computer-generated graphics that we have today, but when the film premiered back in the 70s, the special effects in the film were top-notch, and they managed to freak everyone out. After the premiere, many people believed that the actress was way too young to be exposed to that kind of content. Years later, Linda spoke about her experience and said she didn't understand a lot of what was happening at the time, and she didn't bother asking anyone on set any questions. She was there to do her job, and this inappropriate movie single-handedly launched her entire career. Kiara Glasgow The drama series Copper took place in New York City in the late 1860s. The show was about an Irish cop who had to interact with the residents of uptown Manhattan and the city's black community. But viewers of the show weren't too concerned with all that. They were more surprised by the character Annie Riley, who was played by the child actress Kiara Glasgow. You see, the character Annie was a 12-year-old orphan who was forced into a dark and harmful world on the streets in order to survive in New York City. She later became the child bride of a much older man who promised to protect her from danger. On the show, Kiara's character used manipulative ways to get what she wanted from men and women. She also got to the point where she grew tired of the ritzy world in uptown Manhattan, and she made plans to return to the streets and back to her former life. No one would have batted an eye at this storyline if Kiara was much older, but the fact that she's just a teenager made people feel very uncomfortable with many of the scenes on the show. Thankfully, the show was cancelled after just two seasons, but believe it or not, fans actually protested to the show's cancellation and begged the network to put it back on the air. Lena Leanderson In 2008, movie makers released Let the Right One, a Swedish film based on a horror novel. Lena Leanderson was a 13-year-old actress who played the role of Eli, a vampire who was stuck at the age of 12. The novel is said to be really gory and violent with unsuitable content for kids, which made the producers of the film try their hardest to make the movie a little more kid-friendly. But despite their efforts, many viewers were still shocked by several of the scenes and Lena's very controversial role. 
In the film, her character meets up with an older man who promises to protect her during the daytime and provide her with blood. It's also implied in the film that the two are engaging in an inappropriate relationship. When the older man doesn't hold up his end of the bargain, she kicks him to the curb and meets up with a 12-year-old boy named Oscar. And again, it's implied that Lena's young character is involved in an inappropriate relationship. Although young actors are playing the main characters in this film, there's nothing kid-friendly about this movie. Most films about vampires have creepy scenes that cause viewers to jump out of their seats. But the feel of this movie is just way too dark and inappropriate for children to be involved in, and even worse, for kids to watch. Isabel Furman Horror movie fans were so excited when the 2009 film Orphan hit theaters. It promised to be just as hair-raising as the 70s film The Exorcist, but with an updated twist. However, as soon as the film began, many people were taken aback by several of the scenes played by the young actress Isabel Furman. Isabel played the role of Esther, an orphan who was adopted by a couple who recently lost their child. During the time the film was released, Isabel was just 11 years old, and she was involved in some pretty twisted and demented scenes in the film. The movie was full of violence and inappropriate actions, like the scene where Isabel's character tried to seduce her adopted father before ending her life. But the movie had an unexpected turn towards the end. If you haven't seen the film yet, here's a spoiler alert, so you might want to plug your ears for a second. Are your ears plugged? Okay, good. Towards the end of the film, it was later revealed that Isabel's character wasn't actually a little girl. She was really a 33-year-old serial killer who was able to hide her real age due to a hormone disorder that stunted her growth. But that didn't change the fact that Isabel was just 11 years old in real life and she was subjected to some pretty vicious scenes that no child should ever be a part of. That's the end of the spoiler. Now it's time to move on to the next child star, Marielle Hemingway. So far, we've seen numerous inappropriate films from various decades. For this next movie, we'll take you all the way back to 1976. The film was called Lipstick, and the actress Mariel Hemingway's role as the character Kathy McCormick even earned her a Golden Globe nomination. So what could have been so horrible about this film? Well, Mariel was cast alongside her real-life sister, the late actress Margot Hemingway. The film depicted some savage content, which included Mariel getting forcefully taken advantage by her sister's music teacher in a very graphic scene. But not only that, her character was taken advantage of a second time later on in the movie as well. Her character later sought justice for all that she went through. When the film was initially released, it received a lot of buzz, which attracted moviegoers. They flocked to the theaters to see what all the hype was about, and many of them were shocked at the very extreme and exploitative scenes. Because Mariel was just 15 at the time of the film, many thought the physical acts of violence against such a young actress were uncalled for, unjustified, and way too graphic for viewers. These days, the film film is still considered just as controversial as it was when it first hit theaters, but surprisingly, it also has become a cult classic to avid moviegoers. Chloe Grace Moretz Chloe Grace Moretz has been involved in two movies that raised moviegoers' eyebrows. The first was the Amityville Horror film back in 2005. In this movie, Chloe played the role of Chelsea, a girl whose family moved into a haunted house. The movie was based on a real-life home that's said to be full of ghosts and strange occurrences. When it comes to horror films, many people think child stars are too young to get involved in things that have to do with the paranormal. The story forced Chloe to talk about a ghost named Jody, which was probably a very sensitive topic for an eight-year-old to be discussing. But if that wasn't crazy enough, the child star was cast for another inappropriate role as the character Hit Girl in a 2010 action film. She was 13 years old at the time the first film of the series was released, and although it was a hit with fans, it was met with controversy from critics. They believed the movie was way too violent, and Chloe's young character used a bunch of foul language that made moviegoers cringe. On top of that, her character was dressed in a superhero costume that many thought was a bit too revealing for a young child. Thankfully for Chloe, neither of these films hurt her career, but that doesn't change the fact that some believe she was way too young to play either of these roles. Evan Rachel Wood and Nikki Reed You would think a movie about teenagers living their wild and crazy lives would be more than appropriate for children to watch, right? Wrong! In 2003, the film 13 was released starring Evan Rachel Wood and Nikki Reed. The film was loosely based on Nikki's real life, and it dealt with underage intimate behavior, alcohol abuse, and usage of illegal substances. The film was originally meant to be a comedy, but as the script developed, it turned into a dark and inappropriate drama. The gritty coming-of-age 
Outrage Story discussed some very heavy topics that many parents felt weren't suitable for kids. Critics were also shocked and practically speechless at many of the scenes in the film, including the ones where the characters were graphically harming themselves and acting out inappropriately. Some critics said the film was just showing the lives of some teenagers who went down the wrong path, and come to find out, a lot of people actually agreed. Even though the topics made some people feel very uncomfortable, the low-budget film turned into a huge success for the young actresses. They went from being unknown to being household names, and the movie didn't hurt their careers in any way. If anything, it helps them become superstars. Evan later appeared on a series, Westworld, and Nikki received international fame when she starred in the Twilight series. Brooke Shields one of the most controversial films of all time is the 1978 film Pretty Baby. It stars legendary actress Brooke Shields, who was just 12 years old at the time the movie was filmed. She played the role of a teenage girl who lived her life as a prostitute in the city of New Orleans. The movie showed a young Brooke at the center of cringe-worthy scenes that we can't even begin to describe. Let's just say Brooke was acting in a way that would have been fine if she were in her 20s or 30s. But the fact that she wasn't even a teenager meant that these scenes crossed the line of child exploitation. At the time, the actress was way too young to be aware that she was being exploited, which made many people think it was her parents' responsibility to step in and protect her from being taken advantage of. Years later, Brooke was asked in an interview if she ever felt like she was being exploited while filming Pretty Baby. Surprisingly, the actress said that she didn't feel like she was being taken advantage of at all. She said that when she looks back at her early career, she doesn't even cringe. To this day, this film still attracts a lot of controversy. Not not because it was a box office success, but because of its explicit content. Dominique Swain There are two versions of the movie Lolita. There's the 1962 film that attempted to turn the story into a comedy, and then there was the 1997 version that was met with intense backlash. In our video, we'll be talking about the 1997 film that starred 15-year-old Dominique Swain. The movie is all about a middle-aged professor who falls in love with his teenage stepdaughter. As you can guess, Dominique played the role of the stepdaughter and her stepdad was played by the much older actor, Jeremy Irons. The movie makes sure that their age difference is the focal point, so it's super creepy to watch the older man fall in love with the young girl. Watching their interactions on screen made it very uncomfortable for a lot of viewers. Even after it was revealed that some of the controversial scenes were performed by Dominique's stunt double, who was of a more mature age, it didn't really change the tone of the whole film. People were still disgusted by the entire movie. In America, the film was banned from the box office because because of its content, and it had mixed reviews at many European movie theaters. These days, the movie is known more for its creepy plotline rather than its critical success. But one good thing that came out of the movie was Dominique's acting career. After the movie wrapped, she had a steady stream of gigs in many successful films, including Alpha Dog in 2006. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Let us know what you think, and be sure to check out our friends at The Trendy to see more cool videos for teenagers.